Well, I just uh, appreciate all the stuff uh, that I've heard as it's all rolled downhill. So <laughs> I, I appreciate the, hopefully, to kind of pull some of it together just from a, from a funnel capture standpoint, right? Because all of this, at the end of the day, is capturing leads. That's what we're after. We want leads. Um, of course, on Zillow, you can get leads directly. Uh, but most of the time, all these efforts are pushing people into your website. That's, that's really the goal of all of these various activities. And so pondering what is it that this target person that we've now gotten to click, what is it that they're trying to do as soon as they come to our website? Think about your own idea. You're, you're looking at this Google search results list, everything else. What is it that they're trying to do on that initial thing? So again, simple search, new homes in Atlanta, you know, 247 million results, okay? <laughs> Am I going to get through that by dinner? You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's overwhelming, isn't it? So they're trying to eliminate you. Their number one goal is to say, this doesn't apply. I can move on. All right. When they come to your site, that's the first thing. Think about how you search. All right. You're trying to say, does this have what I'm looking for? Is this what I'm really after? Um, I, I don't have time to process all this information. They're trying to eliminate you. They're just overwhelmed. That, that resonates with what she was saying about floor plans and eliminating because the floor plan's not right. Yeah, so, it, 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 so. it's going to apply in any type yeah. of search scenario, even if they're searching within Zillow, right? And not, and, and they're just looking at the different categories. Again, does this have, and, and what do you give them? Like two seconds to figure that out, right? Or less, Building does this shortness. have what, what I need, right? So what is it that then causes people to eliminate you? And I've, I've broken it down into kind of three emotions. We talked about emotional connection, right? There's a negative side to emotions too, right? The, the negative emotion piece, right? If they don't trust us, if they get frustrated, or if they're not sure what to do, then they move on. They're not, they're not going to fight it and, and work on it. So what are some of the things that cause that mistrust? Of course, if it looks like your you know, cousin's nephew's um, third grader designed your website, you know, it, it's probably not going to pull it. If, if they can't find what they're looking for, if they can tell that it's out of date, all right, if your last blog article was three years ago, okay, you've got a problem of trust, all right? Um, I only say that because I've seen it, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah, it's, it's all about creating that, that idea of, is what I'm seeing here match what I'm seeing in other places, all right? And there's also this idea of social proof, which is a conversation a little beyond the time we have today, but, but what they see about you in other places doesn't match what they're reading about you on your website. All right, so we've got this trust issue. Um, and then frustration. We're all users, we don't, we don't, it's only in the computer world that we call our, our customers users in the drug world, right? Those are the only two places <laughs> that we use that term, right? But, but we're all users of, of websites, right? What gets you upset, okay? When you're watching the thing spin, all right, okay? How long do you wait? How long do you wait? And, and do you actually look at some of those statistics on your site? Here's, here's one of the dirty little secrets in looking at page load times in Google Analytics. The really slow pages, they quit before the tag fired and actually recorded the visit, okay? So it doesn't even make it into your report, the really slow pages, all right? That's, that's the little secret. You can only depend on that so, so long. You need to do some other testing too. Uh, they get frustrated when they can't find what they're looking for. They don't know what to do next. All of these things lead to frustration. Again, I don't have time for this. I got 247 million other sites to look at. I got to move on, okay? Um, I, I, got, I got information. If I don't have the information I need, if I try to ask and I don't get responses back, I move on. All of this. Um, you know, this is, this is from the 2019 Zillow report. Great stuff, by the way. Thanks for doing all that and sharing it. Um, there, there may be some newer data here, right? But, but we've kind of talked about this idea that uh, Sixty-four percent said they would consider new homes, but only nine percent end up buying a new home versus a used home. That's a huge market opportunity. Okay, so the question then is, what stops them? What are some of the things they said? Well, some say they couldn't understand what the home would look like. We've talked about photos. We've talked about you know floor plans, all of those things. They talk about pricing as a concern, timing, how long it's going to take to get the home. All right, the hassles. Well, this is going to be longer and more painful. All right, all of these things are ways that we need to build that trust, remove the uncertainty by giving them the information that they need as they're looking for it. And again, that can happen on some of these other third-party platforms as well, not just on your website, but it's this education idea. How do we keep them moving through without getting stuck? All right, so just a few quick keys 
to kind of help with that lead conversion. Because at the end of the day, getting them to the website, if we don't get their name and email or a phone number or some way to contact them, we, we haven't accomplished the goal. Now, they don't always do it on the first visit. That would be nice. But, but the reality is if we don't do that, we haven't done it. So just a few quick, few quick keys here, all right? If you look at your analytics and look at the report that talks about the entry points into your website, I bet you would find, if you're kind of average, that somewhere in that 20, 25%, your top entry point is gonna be your homepage, 20, 25% of your sessions. And so what does that mean? It means 75 to 80% of your website visitors started on a page other than your homepage. But yet, we focus on the journey as if everybody starts on the homepage, and then they click on the community, and then they click on the model, and then they, and then they fill out the contact form because they can't wait to move in tomorrow. All right? But the reality is 80% of them are starting somewhere else. So you need to look at that somewhere else page as what is the message if this is the first and only thing that they see? All right, and not only that, we actually want them to start other places if that has the content they're looking for, right? Google's job as a search engine is to get them as close to the answer to their question as possible. If you on your Zillow listings are sending everybody to your homepage, you're missing an opportunity, all right? The community listing needs to be sending people to the community page with that URL that you upload. If you send everybody to the homepage, you're making them have to start over again. They've already narrowed it down to, I want homes in this area and maybe this style get them to that area and that style when they click through, all right? Every page needs to be a starting point. Make sense? All right, next idea here, maybe. Click, all right. Um, we have to remember that people don't know this stuff the way that we do. They don't buy a home every day. Maybe they do it a couple, three times in their lifetime, okay? It's not something that is a common experience for our buyers. We have to show them the way, and that also includes what am I supposed to do on this website? How do I move them through? We got them to the site, that's great. We want them to fill out the form. Do we tell them that? Do we ask them to? Do we pull them through, guide them through the process? Oh, you've selected a community. Hey, now look at these homes. Is it clear what they're supposed to do next? Provide the guide. And in today's world, we've got to quit being gatekeepers on our content and data. We've got to tell them everything, everything up front. All right, and I know some of the salespeople are like, no, but then they'll have no reason to talk to me. They will because they won't remember it all, okay? They will because it'll make sense to us, but it might not make sense to them. But we've got to give them all the information. When people don't have what they're looking for, they move on. They're not there. This is one of the keys is they need to feel transparency, openness, willingness to share and talk about it. And then the last one is you got to make it easy to connect. All right, this is Big phone numbers, we talked about mobile, right? If your phone number's all the way in the footer, <laughs> on the, on, all right, it needs to be pinned to that header or pinned as a, a little footer bar on, on mobile. You gotta make it easy to find. And why in the world when someone's holding a device that's designed to make a phone call, do we make them fill out a form and have to type in 20 fields instead of making it easy to actually use the device for what it's for? With this big number, they can just tap with their thumb and it starts ringing somebody, okay? Use phones for what they're good for, especially on these mobile things. Make it easy to connect.